Isang magandang araw sa ating lahat para sa araw na to, pag-uusapan natin ang determinants, minors and cofactors, expansion of determinants by minors. Para sa unang parte na ating pag-usap, tatalakayin natin kung sino nga ba si Charles Babbage, ano nga ba ang determinants, minors and cofactors, at paano nga ba hanapin ang minor and cofactor. Sino nga ba si Charles Babbage? Charles Babbage is a English inventor who also discovered a method for solving the linear system called Cramer's Rule. Using his own rule, Babbage designed a machine called Difference Engine that consisted of two wheels and shafts for performing this multiplication. Si Babbage ay isa rin mathematician, philosopher, at mechanical engineer. Sa kanya rin nagsimula ang konsepto ng digital programmable computer. Paano naman ako naita si Charles Babbage sa determinants? Dahil yan sa nimenta niyang difference engine. In 1944, scientists at IBM or International Business Machine Corporation used the lesson of different engine to create the world first computer. The method they used for solving system that played a critical role in this process uses real numbers called determinants that are associated with arrays of numbers. Despite the fact that only one-seventh of the functions ever worked, Babbage inventions demonstrated how complex calculation could be handled mechanically. Kaya ang ibang tao, kinoconsider si Charles Babbage bilang father of the computer. Ano nga ba ang determinants, minors, and cofactors? Determinants, it is a number associated with a square matrix. The determinant order n is written as like this one. Paano naman hanapin si minor? Kailangan lang natin burahin or tanggalin yung row and column ng element na hinahanap natin. For example, sa matrix na to, hahanapin natin yung minor ni A11. So, tatakpan natin yung column and row niya. So, the minor of A11 is A22 times A33 minus A23 times A32. Si cofactor naman, para mahanap natin siya, gagamitin lang natin ng equation na Cij is equal to negative 1 raised to i plus j multiplied by Mij. Kung saan si Mij ang minor no element na hinahanap natin. And si i denotes the i row and j denotes the j column. For example, si A11 ulit, hahanapin natin yung cofactor niya. So, gagamitin lang natin yung formula kanina. So, the cofactor of A11 is negative 1 raised to 1 plus 1 multiplied by A22 times A33 minus A23 times A32. Paano naman malaman ang sign ng element sa loob ng isang matrix? Para malaman natin yung sign, gagamitin lang natin yung equation ni cofactor. Pero, magpo-focus lang tayo sa part ni negative 1 raised to i plus j. For example, hahanapin natin yung sign ni a11. So, negative 1 raised to 1 plus 1 is equal to positive 1. So, the sign at a11 is positive. Another example, hahanapin natin yung sign ni a23. So, negative 1 raised to 2 plus 3 is equal to negative 1. So, the sign at a23 is negative. O kaya naman, Kakabisaduhin lang natin yung table na to. Kung maray gusto mo siyang dagdagan ng isang column and row pa, susundan niyo lang siya ng sign na opposite dun sa mas nauna sa kanya. Para sa pangalawang parte ng ating pag-uusap, tatalakayin naman natin ang how to evaluate a determinant and how to expand it by minor and what is the diagonal line approach. Find the minor and cofactor of matrix T. For example, dito, hanapin natin yung minor and cofactor ni A11. So, tatakpan lang natin ang kanyang column and row. So, the minor of A11 is A22. Ang cofactor niya naman, gagamitin lang natin yung equation na nasabi kanina. So, negative 1 raised to 1 plus 1 multiplied by A22 is equal to A22. Examples of finding minor and cofactor of 2 by 2 matrix. For example, dito, pinapahanap sa atin na element A22 ni matrix C. So, si element A22 ng matrix C ay si 
7 kasi nasa row 2, column 2 siya. So, tatakpan natin ang kanyang column at ang kanyang row. So, the minor of 7 is 4. Ang cofactor niya naman is negative 1 raised to 2 plus 2 multiplied by 4 is equal to positive 4. Sa matrix din naman, si A12 ay si 3 kasi nasa row 1, column 2 siya. So, tatakpan tatanggalin or ididist ng natin yung kanyang first row and ng kanyang first column. So, ang minor ni 3 is x minus 4 at ang kanyang cofactor naman is negative 1 raised to 1 plus 2 multiplied by x minus 4 is equal to negative x plus 4. Examples of finding minor and cofactor of 3 by 3 matrix. Sa 3 by 3 matrix na to, pinapahanap sa atin si element A32. So, si element A32 is si negative 3 kasi nasa row 3, column 2 siya. So, tulad kanina, tatak pa lang natin yung kanyang row and column. So, ang natira is si negative 5, 8, 3, and 2. Para makuha natin yung minor, kailangan lang natin siyang ipag-cross multiply and subtract. So, negative 5 multiplied by 2 minus 8 multiplied by 3 is equal to negative 34. And ang kanyang cofactor is negative 1 raised to 3 plus 2 multiplied by negative 34 is equal to positive 34. How to evaluate 2 by 2 matrix? Tulad ng ginawa natin kanina sa pagkuha ng minor ni 3 by 3 matrix, kailangan lang natin siyang ipag cross multiply and subtract. So the equation of 2 by 2 matrix is D is equal to A11 times A22 minus A21 times A21. If the debt if the determinant D is equal to 0, we say D is singular. For example, pinapa-evaluate sa atin yung matrix na to. So, pag-cross multiply lang natin siya and subtract. So, 2 multiply by negative 5 minus 4 times negative 3 is equal to negative 10 minus negative 12. D is equal to positive 2. Evaluate the determinant of each of the following matrices. Example, so, ang gagawin lang natin is cross multiply and subtract. So, 2 multiplied by 2x minus negative 5 times 5 is equal to 4x plus 5y. Another example, given the value of determinant of d is 15, find the value of z. So, dito hindi value ni determinant ang pinapahanap, kundi value ng isang element. Pero ang gagawin natin, tulad pa rin ng dati, cross multiply and subtract lang. So, 15 is equal to 3 times negative 5 minus z times negative 11. 15 is equal to negative 15 plus 11z. Ngayon, si negative 15, ililipat natin sa kabila and then divide both sides by 11 para makancel natin si 11. So, z is equal to 30 over 11 or 2.7273. How to evaluate 3 by 3 matrix by minor? Each of the three terms in definition contains two factors, numerical factor and second order determinants. Yung numerical factor po, yun po yung element na hinahanap natin. Tapos para makuha natin si second order determinant, kailangan lang po natin tanggalin or i-delete yung row and column ng numerical factor natin. The numerical factor in each term is an element from the first column of the third order determinant. The minus sign precedes the second term. Tulad na nasabi ko kanina, kung gusto niyo siyang dagdagan ng column and row, lagyan niyo lang siya susundan ng opposite sign ng mas nauna sa kanya. The second order determinant that appears in each term is obtained by crossing out the row and column containing the numerical factor. Pag nagawa na po natin yung apat na yan, magiging ganito po yung equation natin. The minor of an element is the determinant remains after deleting the row and column of that element. For this reason, we call this method expansion by minors. Ngayon, evaluate the determinant of the matrix. Pwede po natin gamitin yung first row, eh, first column and first row or any column and row po na gusto niyong mag-solve. Pero para sa ngayon, gagamitin po natin is si first column. So una, 
Tatakpan natin yung row and column ni 4. So, ang natira is si 3, 4, 8, and 1. Si negative 9, ganun din. Tatakpan natin. So, ang natira is 1, 0, 8, 1. Ganun din po kay negative 3. So, ang natira is 1, 0, 3, and 4. Saan naman ang galing yung mga sign na to? Yan po ay nanggaling dun sa equation natin ng cofactor. Yung negative 1 raised to i plus j. Si negative 9 po kasi ay nasa second row, first column. Kaya negative 1 raised to 3. Eh, negative 1 raised to 3 is equal to negative. Si negative 3 naman po is nasa third row, first column. So, negative 1 raised to 4 is equal to positive. Kaya po, naging ganyan yung mga signs natin dyan. So, pagtapos natin makuha yung 2 by 2 matrix, pagtas natin siya ma-expand, ipagkakross multiply lang natin siya and then subtract. Tapos yung sagot natin doon, imumultiply natin siya doon sa pinaka-element natin na kinukuhanan. So, 4 multiplied by 3 times 1 minus 4 times 8 minus negative 9 multiplied by 1 times 1 minus 8 times 0 plus negative 3 multiplied by 1 times 4 minus 0 times 3. So, 4 times negative 29 plus 9 times 1 minus 3 times 4 is equal to negative 119. How to evaluate higher order determinants? Dito po, meron tayong technique. Kung suswertein po tayo sa matrix na meron tayo, magkakaroon tayo ng maraming zeros. Tulad dito sa matrix na to, pwede natin gamitin yung second row and second column. Kasi yun po yung may pinakamaraming zeros. Pero sa ngayon, ang gagamitin po natin is si second column. Bakit natin siya ginamit? Kasi po, apat na agad yung zero niya. So, nabawasan na tayo ng apat na dapat natin gagawing equation. Ang kailangan na lang natin isolve ay si 3. Kasi po, zero multiplied by a number is always equals to zero. So, ngayon, tatakpan lang natin yung column and row niya. So, ang natira sa kanya ay si 4, negative 7, 3, 5, 0, 2, 0, 0, 5, 5, 2, negative 3, 0, 9, negative 1, and 2. Ngayon, tulad ng ginawa natin doon sa 5 by 5 matrix, maghahanap ulit tayo ng column and row na gagamitin natin or i-expand natin. So, para ma-solve natin tong equation na to. So, ngayon, kaya siya tinawag na expansion by minors kasi yung minors ni 5 by 5 matrix, i-expand natin to 4 by 4 matrix, tapos magiging 3 by 3, tapos magiging 2 by 2 para makuha natin or ma-evaluate natin yung matrix na to. Ngayon, dito sa 4 by 4 matrix na nagawa natin, gagamitin natin is si second Row. Bakit? Kasi may tatlo na naman siyang zero. So, mababawasan na naman tayo ng tatlong dapat gagawin. So, ang isosolve na lang natin is si 2. So, tatakpan natin ulit yung kanyang column and row. So, ang matitra is si 4, 3, 5, 5, 2, negative 3, 0, negative 1, and 2. Ngayon, itong in-expand nating minor na to, i-expand pa ulit natin sa 2 by 2 matrix tulad ng nasabi ko kanina. So, ngayon, pwede natin dito gamitin si first column tsaka si third row kasi sila yung mayroong 0. Pero sa ngayon, gagawin natin is si first column. Nabawasan na naman tayo ng isang dapat gagawin kasi may zero tayo. So, si 4 and 5 na lang yung dapat natin solve So, magi ang matitira kay 4 is 3, negative 3, 5, 2. Para naman kay 5, ang matitira is si 3, 2, 5, and negative 1. Ngayon, ito, cross multiply na natin tong 2 by 2 matrix tulad kung paano tayo mag-evaluate ng 2 by 2 matrix. So, ang mangyayari, 4, Multiply by 3 times 2 minus negative 3 times 5 minus 5. Multiply by 3 times negative 1 minus 2 times 5 is equal to negative 1. Ngayon, hindi pa yan yung pinakasagot natin. Kasi kailangan pa natin siya i-multiply dun sa element na in-expand natin. Doon kay 3 at saka kay negative 
Doon kay 2, tsaka kay negative 3. So, negative 1 multiplied by negative 3 times 2 is equal to 6. So, sobrang haba ng gagawin natin. Paano kung wala tayo masyadong 0 sa matrix na makukuha natin? Ang dami natin ng dapat i-expand nang i-expand. Masyado siyang nakakahilo. Diyan, papasok si diagonal line approach. Pwede natin gamitin si diagonal line approach or si basket wave approach. So, ngayon, gagamitin ulit natin dito is si second, second row doon sa na-expand na natin na 4 by 4 matrix. Ngayon, ang gagawin lang natin yung first column and second column ng 3 by 3 matrix natin, kokopyahin lang natin siya. Tapos, gagawa lang tayo ng mga diagonal line. Diyan. Tapos ipag mo multiply natin siya. For example, 4 times 2 times 2 is equal to 16. 3 times negative 3 times 0 is equal to 0. At ganun lang ng ganun yung gagawin natin sa iba. So, 2 multiply by 16 minus 0 plus 25 minus 0 plus 12 plus 30 is equal to negative 2. Tapos yung negative 2, imumultiply na lang natin siya doon sa negative 3 sa element natin sa 5 by 5 matrix. So negative 2 multiply by negative 3 is equal to positive 6. So lagi nyo lang tatandaan na ang diagonal line approach, pwede lang natin siya gamitin kapag meron na tayong 3 by 3 matrix. Mapapabawas lang nito yung gagawin natin kasi hindi na natin kailangan na expand pa ulit papunta sa 2 by 2 matrix yung ating matrix. That's all for today and thank you for listening everyone.